So here's a quick video just to reemphasize something that I may not have emphasized enough before. When I talk about equivalent resistance, what I'm talking about is if I have two resistors connected either in series or in parallel, the equivalent resistance is what it would take if I replaced those two resistors with a single resistor such that the rest of the circuit works just the same, so that it's equivalent to the same part of the circuit. Now for series, of course, we add the resistors. So if I've got a resistor of 6 ohms and a resistor of 6 ohms, the equivalent is if I have a single 12 ohm resistor. If I've got 6 ohms and 6 ohms connected in parallel, well, I'd have to go back over to my calculator here and 1 divided by 1 divided by 6 plus 1 divided by 6 gives me 3. So I know what I should use for my equivalent resistance. There's going to be times where actually redrawing it, taking my series section or my parallel section, and replacing it with a single resistor of the correct equivalent resistance will help us see the next step in the process a little bit more clearly.